As Russian forces widen their assaults, desperate Ukrainians are fleeing the violence by the millions. We have seen the images. ABC's Victor Okendo is on the ground in Poland with the worsening humanitarian crisis and those who are trying to help refugees. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Janae. This warehouse is now being run by the Miami-based Global Empowerment Mission. This organization has brought in everything from food to water to medical supplies, and it's all being distributed to refugees as they cross the border or to local aid groups. And you've also got these two trucks behind me. They'll actually be going inside Ukraine. This organization has been here on the ground since the beginning of the invasion, and as the crisis only worsens, they know they'll be here for the long haul. This morning, Eastern Europe overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Ukraine as Russia's relentless attacks ravage villages and cities. More than 2.5 million people have fled Ukraine since the conflict began, making the days-long journey to nearby countries like Romania, Moldova and Poland. Yeah, so I came from Kharkiv with my parents because there was uh, so much, so many explosions and uh, like, there was bombing every time. So we had no choice to, to leave the Kharkiv and to travel. One million of those who have fled are children, aid workers, warning they are at risk of hypothermia and hunger as temperatures plummet this weekend. The mayor of Warsaw, Poland's largest city, pleading for international help. By next week, the 1.4 million people who have arrived in Poland will likely surpass the population of Warsaw itself. The refugees, mostly women and children, now homeless, hungry, and many don't speak the language here. I feel empty. Like, it's horrible what's happening now, like uh, all these families. U.S. organizations on the ground to help. The Global Empowerment Mission collecting and distributing supplies, including food, water, blankets, even these pre-charged battery packs for cell phones. What are you finding are the biggest needs for people who are fleeing Ukraine? Battery packs, for example, right? So you have people in bunkers right now everywhere, literally hiding and hiding. Their phones are dead. They have no power, nothing. They can't reach their families. You know, one person has a cell phone like, I'm here. Can you come get me? Imagine how dangerous that is. Inside the warehouse, we met Andriy Negrich, a Ukrainian truck driver. Once his family safely crossed into Poland, he stayed in the region. Now he's coordinating and driving these supplies into Ukraine himself to help those who need it most. I have like believing that we will stay, like we will stand for our country and we will win, you know, because we have support and we are not alone. Jem is also helping relocate people free of charge, providing airline vouchers for refugees who either return to their original home or to stay with friends and family. <laughs> this is one of the first refugees who arrived in the U.S., landing in Fargo, North Dakota, escaping the horrors of their hometown to the arms of their friends, the Nelson family. We were worried because this has been such a long journey that we can't believe we're finally here. This was just unbelievable. Now, this truck, it's about a quarter of the way full. There's a good amount of food inside here. You've got some vegetables, some tomatoes, some beans. There's boxes of pasta as well. The concern is that as the threat of chemical warfare increases, so will the number of Ukrainians fleeing for safety. Eva? And all things that they will need. Victor Okenda for us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.